welcome back so let me run this test and show what are the problems you might face when you try to perform some operations on web view okay and execution started meanwhile let's go back to our document and see what all we did so mobile gestures is completed and this is the final test scenario verify if, if the user can do operations on web view and can navigate back to native app if needed okay that is what we are trying to achieve and with this let's wrap this whole project okay so let's see if that really works or it, it will kick out any error for us. You see that there is an error 500 error. So let's try to read the logs and understand why we got that error. Found Chrome bundle form dot Android dot Chrome version 69. So that means it is saying that the Chrome browser, whatever you are using in your emulator is 69. But error is no Chrome driver found that can automate this browser. So basically you need to have one Chrome driver to automate anything on your Chrome browsers. So this Chrome driver, Appium should take care of storing this Chrome driver. Yes, Appium have that version. Okay, so let's see when you do npm install appium, when you install appium, so all your appium related resources will be stored in node module, right? Let me go back to that module and see what Chrome driver have downloaded for us. And if it is already downloaded, why this is complaining that there is no Chrome driver found. Okay, and you see the one more error message here. It's clearly saying that following Chrome driver executable were found. Okay, Appium have it and this is the path and in your machine also go and see for the this path whatever it shows here. You have here in node modules Appium node modules okay Appium and then node modules again Appium Chrome driver Chrome web driver, win directory, perfect. You have the Chrome driver, but the version what this Chrome driver can automate is 71 minimum. Okay, so when you download, Appium by default brought the latest whatever available. That's saying that I can only automate from 71, but unfortunately, in your emulator, the version is 69. So there is no compatible with the driver version what your Appium is giving and the browser what you have in your emulator. So that is the headache. Now we should go to the their website and try to get Chrome driver which supports 69 on which we are going to automate right. We need to download that specific Chrome driver and replace that in this directory you need to replace that with the specific uh, Chrome driver. So that's the concept. Now let's try to see what is the version available for the 69. So Chrome downloads, I think you should have Chrome driver. I have one bookmark link I can show you that this one I guess okay these are the different versions available but we are not sure which one supports 69 so let's go to their official chromium.org and here 69 is what you are using right supports chrome version 69 to 71 chrome driver 2.44 so basically we need to have a driver version of 2.44 if you want to work on your emulator chrome version so come to this link 
you can bookmark this in your system 2.44 is here and download this you have to unzip this file extract all so when you extract you will find this chrome driver 2.44 after you unzip copy this and from here come to this win folder wherever the latest chrome driver is present which is not supporting us replace this replace the file in destination perfect now this chrome driver version is 2.44 which can support chrome 69 okay and this is the chrome 69 and now let's try to run this and see will that work or not interesting right so that's why whenever you run into an error don't get panic read out that appium server logs and try to understand what exactly made that issue when i first started this i saw this error but i read line by line very carefully and then i cracked that what happened is it started execution So now it should be able to enter hello in the edit box hopefully if that version matches and everything is correct if not again it complains with some error let's see so first of all it will wait for 7 seconds before it gets the context switches and thereafter it switches the context and now it's trying to enter hello perfect you see that it entered so we have successfully switched from appium to webview and we are using underhood selenium and you can continue automating your web browser here okay now let's actually wrap this lecture by performing few more little operations on that mobile and i will switch back to native app and we'll see if that's happening or not so once you enter send keys hello i want to click on enter which will open the results keys dot enter so what is this so initially you have entered hello right so thereafter if you want to know the search results with that hello you have to either click on search button or just click on enter yeah so right now the first step what we did here is hello and the next step keys dot enter it will hit an enter and the search results will display based upon that hello okay and if you want to come back to your native app from here you have to do one back which will come to your specific browser right now let's write that step to see how can we come back from uh, web to mobile so basically you are using this android back button that's it there is nothing tricky here so how to do back button driver dot press key these are different keys you can perform of what your android provides here you have to create new class object called key event in this class object you have to pass which key you want to use here i want to use android key dot look for back just type b a yeah here it is so basically first of all you have to create key event class object of appium java client so that it understands that whatever keys i am using that are specific to android and then it will tell to driver 
to click on the back button of Android with press key method. Okay, so this is how you use a step with Appium Android combination to come back. Okay, you won't have this in iOS, obviously. Now, so you will enter hello, click on enter. Basically, you are on the web page. You can perform what all operations you need. It's up to you. If you want to get objects, do remote a Chrome debugging and get the objects in web and just continue automating it. But if you want to come back to native app again, and this is how you can just press back button through your Android key, press key method, and you can switch back to your native app. Perfect, so let's run this test and with this, we will get clear idea on how to deal with hybrid apps. This is the concept and the code. Get the context handles, switch to your specific context handle, do the work, and come back and now if you want to continue performing your operations on hybrid uh, sorry native app then make sure you switch your context to native after you come back to your specific native app and then you can continue what all validations you want to do with your native app all right so let's run this test So I hope now you have an idea on dealing with this hybrid apps. It's a combination of Web Selenium plus Appium Mobile. Okay, so so you can see that valid location strategies for Appium or XPath ID, class name, accessibility ID, Android UI Automator. There is no name or CSS locator. But if you switch to web view, then you can use all this as it is supporting by Selenium. But when you are in native, you cannot use that CSS selector command. So you can observe that difference. Okay, it's trying to enter hello and it hit an enter. And now it's trying to click back button still loading you see that it clicked on back button and we have successfully navigated to our native app back so that's how you have to handle this last scenario verify if user can do operations on web view yes we verified we entered hello and we clicked on enter results are displayed and then we navigated back to native app with this I'm wrapping up this project and I hope that we have covered good number of valid real-time test scenarios as part of this project and feel free to extend it and do more validations if you have keen interest to work on this app and that's it that's all i have for this section thanks for watching and we'll come up with new topic in the next section thank you